Hi, this is Frank Taylor with Nature at Your Door, and this is one of my Nature at Your Door shorts, a quickie short episode about something I saw today. Today I'm on the Rock Castle Gorge Trail, and coming up this trail right in front of me on the rock was this giant Ekanuman wasp. It is has probably the longest ovipositor of any insect in the world. And it probably has a total length of at least five inches. And on top of that, a yellow jacket was attacking it and trying to take it home for a meal. So this episode is going to be out, be about the giant Ekanuman wasp, what it does with that five inch ovipositor, and find out at the end who won this interaction. Right here in your backyard, you never know what you're going to find. So a lot of people are frightened when they first see a giant Ekanuman wasp because it looks like it has this giant stinger. But that stinger is actually an ovipositor and these wasps will not sting you. What does it use that for? Well, it uses it to bore through the wood of trees and lay its eggs inside the larva of the pigeon horntail wasp. The giant Ekanuman wasp will creep along trees and listen for the presence of pigeon horntail wasps making noise inside. When they locate this nest by sound, they'll position themselves directly above the nest and use that ovipositor to actually drill a hole into the wood, sometimes two or three inches deep, and lay its eggs inside the nest of the pigeon horntail wasp. When the eggs hatch out, they will feed on the larva of the pigeon horntail wasps, pupate over winter, and emerge in the spring. Now what's going on with this yellow jacket? Well, yellow jackets like sugar for energy, and you've noticed that on picnics in the fall. But they've got to have protein for the queen wasp to lay eggs and also protein to feed the developing larva. Without protein, the wasp larva will not be able to develop. Where do yellow jackets get protein from? Traditionally, it's from other insects. So this yellow jacket has taken on this ecumen wasp for a meal to bring home protein for its nest. I watched this interaction for a while, and eventually the yellow jacket seemed to have given up and flew off to try to find something easier to tackle for a meal. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Nature at Your Door. And remember, if you like my channel, please subscribe. If you want to learn more about all things nature, I cover just about anything. Check out my extensive playlists and logs of videos, that I, episodes that I have now. Thanks for watching this short episode of Nature at Your Door.